Howdy YouTube, got a question from a viewer here. Von M writes, hi Will, great channel. I'm really trying to find a way to install a window unit on my Honda Odyssey. Do you know how I can go about this? I am a noob to all this. Do you have a link or DIY website or something? Thanks. There's basically seven methods you can use. Now starting from the top, the first two methods I have are really not very cost effective, but I'm gonna put them out there anyway. One would be to install a roof vent similar to what they have on RVs, that type of thing. Um, it would cost a lot to do that, and you'd have to see what the weight limits on your roof are, but they do put uh, cargo racks and stuff like that on top of minivans, so I would think you could find one light enough. Those are not known to be the most efficient ACs, but it is an option. Second one that's not very cost effective is just to use the AC in your van with the engine running, which, again, is not real cost effective, but you wouldn't have to make any modifications. The third method is only gonna work if you're in a very arid climate. This is an evaporative cooler, a 12 volt, and this is a pretty popular model. They're really similar to swamp coolers where you've just got water inside that air goes through and cools down. And it doesn't work if you're in a humid area. Like where I live right now, it wouldn't help me at all. I'd basically just be in a cold swamp instead of a hot swamp. It wouldn't really do anything to get rid of the humidity, which is my main problem. You could put a unit through either a window or through a wall in your van. You can do a permanent install on pretty much any window if you take the window out, put a piece of wood in there, and something to support the AC like this. Of course, there's also temporary setups. Like you can see, they have this attached with a bungee cord, and it just kind of probably balances on there while they have it hooked up. You're either going to have to take a window out permanently and put a piece of wood or something in there to build it into, or just have some kind of a rig that you set in there with something to seal around it. And of course the downside with that is you've got to set it up and take it down every time you use it. If you're boondocking for a week or more, this might be practical for you, but if you're moving around every day, you've definitely got to take that out while you drive, so that could be an issue. Now the next option is really cool, but it might not be practical in your minivan because with the limited space, this may just not work. And this is a channel called Van Life. I'm gonna put a link here to his videos about this AC. There's multiple ones. And basically what he did, he built a separate section at the back of his van and he's got his AC going through it. And this is all inside his van. You can't see it from the outside. He's basically got a thermal curtain here and he's got just the AC coming through it. Now this curtain could be wood, it could be some other more solid partition or wall here. So this is what you see from the back. He's got this frame built that the AC sits on securely. This can always stay up while he drives. It's a permanent install. And it is within the van so he can completely close the door here. And he just has a hole in the thermal curtain where this goes through to the inside of the van. And of course you'll notice there's also a fan here. And what you see now is the van completely closed up. This door completely closes over the AC. This stays open just slightly, this door on the right. And he's got a device in there that keeps this locked securely to where you can't break into the van or anything, but it leaves it open just two inches. And he runs that fan to circulate the hot air out. So the hot air comes out the back door, cold air goes inside his van. Of course, this takes up some space at the back of the van. So if you're in a minivan, this could be really tricky to take up this much space at the back of your van and then still have enough room to sleep. Now the sixth option is the option I chose for myself and that is to use a portable AC. And you'll see they've got it here behind the passenger seat. The exhaust hose runs out the window here. These are usually just a straight piece they have to run it through to go outside. You know, they're made for windows and houses, but you can fabricate this custom to your van to make it fit. You know, this has wing windows, so this may have just worked on theirs, but with a typical window and the window like you'll have on a Honda Odyssey, you need to build this out to make it curved where you can run that out. Now, you probably don't want to leave that exposed all the time, but that's a lot easier to set up and take down because you can just leave the portable AC here all the time. You can put the hose in and out of the window when you need to use it. Of course, you are going to have to think about drainage if you're in a humid area. The AC unit I got does evaporate, it doesn't even come with a hose because you're not supposed to need it. But in a very humid climate like I'm in, you will need to drain it from time to time. So that is a consideration with this option. 
Now the seventh option is a really cool one. It does involve a little bit of effort and it does involve having something outside your van that's not necessarily stealthy. This is a ductless AC unit. Basically you have this little piece that goes inside your van. You'd have this tube run outside which you'd need to make a hole for. And then you'd have a cargo rack on the back that could hold the actual AC unit. This part would need to actually be outside. This is what you would see on the inside is this much smaller piece. Then outside you're just going to have this unit outside that you put on a hitch of some sort. I hope this answered your question, Vaughn. If anyone else has questions, comments, leave them below. And I'll see you next time, YouTube. This is a evaporative. This is an. This is an. This is an. <laughs>